name is Peter Wolf and thank you for joining uh, again today to the Wolf College of Coffee's weekly vlog. We're back to uh, what's this bit and uh, here it is. What's this bit? Uh, today we're talking about air pressure switches. Where does this bit live? Well it actually lives connected to your exhaust pipe normally because what it's function is it's about measuring that you have constant airflow passing through the roasting system uh, because this is very important for gas safety uh, and that we're not also having a build-up of um, CO2 and uh, carbon monoxide as well uh, coming off from the burner so it's a very important safety uh, device and uh, firstly before we get on to uh, talking about this little air pressure switch uh, this uh, should only be uh, really uh, disassembled uh, or installed by a, either a licensed gas fitter or a qualified electrician, uh, in particular because this has 240 volts going to this particular switch. Uh, so you'll have a 240 volt feed uh, coming into the bottom here. Uh, so not to be touched if you're not a qualified electrician. And how it really simply works is it's about picking up a differential uh, differential and pressure uh, and each temperature uh, air pressure switch looks slightly different and they certainly do have a different range in size. Where it sort of kicks in initially is at the start of the roast and here in Australia and, and, and most countries have some forms of regulation around what they call a purge time so when you first turn that roaster on what must happen is we have to discharge five times the volume of air that's passing through the roaster just to ensure that there's no um, leftover gas or build up of gas sitting within the system so when the burner does ignite uh, that pilot that obviously everything's everything's safe and clear and we're only just lighting the uh, the gas that's at the pilot assembly and not the whole system and then basically relocating your roaster to another postcode. So it's fairly important. Uh, so one of the things that you typically find uh, when you're trying to start your roaster up in the morning that the burner won't light, um, one of the things you need to have a quick look at is the air pressure switch. Now off this particular end is, a, is normally a simple little elbow and it's a test point and that really just, it basically just screws into the exhaust pipe. Um, it's fairly crude and rudimentary so it's just a hole that sits within the exhaust pipe and it's just picking up obviously the, uh, the, pressure, that, the pressure differential that's coming across. This sometimes can get blocked either with a little coffee bean or with a husk or some sort of debris so it will block up from time to time so you just have to make sure that you keep that clean. Uh, the other thing that you, you will find, particularly when you get a brand new roaster, um, sometimes when you're uh, first loading in the green coffee into the roaster and you're discharging it into the drum, uh, the burner cuts out um, because the, the air pressure switch uh, detects the change, the, the pressure change inside the roaster because of the green coffee entering. Or at the other end of the roast when we're actually opening up the door and we're letting the, green, the roasted coffee come out for cooling, uh, it also picks that up. So that will then require obviously a little bit of a change uh, here on the pressure dial just to increase or decrease it depending on what's happened. Now this is a 240 volt switch so this is not something that you would need to be, uh, be playing with uh, and it would be something that you would definitely be calling back uh, your electrician or your gas fitter to come and make those adjustments because uh, it will give you quite a tickle if you do touch the, uh, the terminals on the bottom of it. Uh, but this is what the air pressure switch is and this is what it does. Uh, it is here for your safety. If you have any more questions or you have any more bits you'd like us to uh, identify for you, please uh, drop them into the comments below. Please subscribe and thank you for watching.